Hi guys, this is Kevin Neo from the Geek Review channel and in this video we are going to learn how to install Cyanogen Mod 13 or Android Marshmallow 6 on our Asus Zenfone 5 well it's an unofficial ROM but it's extremely stable let me show you the version it's Android 6.0.1 So after this video guys, I'll be posting a video on how to root this device and after that, I'll be posting a video on how to install Exposed. So stay tuned. So first of all, I would like to show you that I'm on the latest Lollipop firmware that is 3.24.40.87. So the first step that we need to follow is if you are totally new and you are trying this for the first time, you need to come to settings, then click on about click on software information and you need to click on build number seven times and what this will do is it will activate developer option so once that is done you need to click on developer option and uh, you need to activate usb debugging so the moment you activate usb debugging your phone will give you a notification and you need to select always allow debugging from this computer and uh, press ok and once that is done the next step would be to install intel android drv setup so under step one you will find intel android drv setup so kindly download and install it then step two would be to install minimal adb and fastboot so the tool is again provided to you under step two so kindly download and install it in your laptop the third step would be to unlock your bootloader so if in case you have not unlocked your bootloader then you can follow a tutorial so under step 3 I have tagged the tutorial on how to unlock your bootloader so in the description of the video you will find a tool to unlock your bootloader so kindly follow the video unlock your bootloader and get back and for people who have already unlocked their bootloader the next step would be to download TWRP recovery so kindly do that and uh, once you have done that you need to download the boot image for the Cyanogen mod 13 so that is under step 5 and uh, you need to download the system image that is under step 6 so kindly download all these files and the last step would be to download G apps for your Cyanogen mod 13 so let me show you how to do that you need to go to this website opengapps.org and once you are there you need to select x86 and after that you need to select android 6 and here you need to download micro so this is an 135 mb file and you need to click on download and guys we need an external sd card so make sure that you install a memory card in your phone for this tutorial. So what we'll do is we'll copy the G app that we downloaded and we'll paste it in the memory card, not in the internal memory. We have to paste it in the phone SD card. And the reason we are doing this is we will be wiping off all the data in our phone, the user data as well as uh, the firmware data. So make sure that you create a backup of all your data. So here you go, we have copied the G app to the SD card of the phone. So once we have downloaded the recovery, the boot and the system file, you need to extract it from the zip file and paste the image file on your desktop. And once that is done, we will reboot the phone to bootloader. So to do that, we'll give a command. So press shift and right click on the mouse on the desktop itself and select open command window here and now we need to give a command adb reboot bootloader so the phone will directly reboot to the bootloader Fast boot flash 
recovery just copy the file name of the recovery and paste it and in the end you need to type img since it's an image file and press enter so once we have done this the next step would be to reboot the device to bootloader so for that we will give a command fastboot reboot bootloader so this command will reboot the phone again to bootloader now the next step would be to flash the boot image that's the kernel image file so for that we will type a command fastboot flash boot copy the file name and paste it and put dot img at the end and press enter So after every step you need to wait until the command shows finished. So now the next step would be to flash the system image. So guys this is actually a 1 GB system image which is offered to you in the form of a zip file and that is 300 MB. So this is going to take a good amount of time. So we need to be patient. So the command would be fastboot flash system copy the file name paste it and in the end dot img and press enter so this command particularly will take a good amount of time as i said since it's a 1 gb system file So once the system image is flashed and you see finished, so now the next step would be to give a command and erase the data in the phone. So to do that we will give a command fastboot erase data. So once you see finished, now the next thing would be to give another command to erase the user data. So we will give a command fastboot erase user data. And there should be no space between user and data. Once that is done, we will give another command to wipe the catch. So the command would be fastboot erase catch. And press enter. Done. So now the next step is we have to manually go to recovery mode. So let's do that. So use the volume down button to scroll down to recovery and use the power button to select it
so here on recovery mode we need to select install so first we need to click on the storage that's written out here internal storage so click on it and now select micro sd card and press ok so now scroll all the way down and you will see the gapp zip file so you need to flash it so select the file and swipe to flash it So once it's done, we need to go back, select home and out here we need to click on wipe and here we need to select format data and we need to type yes. Then again we need to go back, select wipe, click on advanced wipe and select Dalvik catch and catch and we will swipe to wipe again. And now all we need to do is we need to again go back, select reboot and select system. So if that doesn't work, we can manually switch off the phone by holding the power button. So let's press power and volume up button together. And release your fingers once you see ASUS logo. And now select reboot, that's the second option and press the power button to select it.
the first boot might take somewhere around 3 to 4 minutes So this is how the firmware looks after you install it in your Zenfone 5 and I would suggest you guys to download Google Maps and the GPS is working absolutely fine. I guess there are few more minor bugs like uh, the FM radio doesn't work and when you record videos in 1080p the video hangs a bit so you need to keep the setting to 720p and record your videos then, in, then it works absolutely fine. So these are the minute bugs in this firmware. So whenever you connect your phone to the laptop, you won't be able to see your internal memory. So what you have to do is, every time on Cyanogen mod, you need to click on the USB option in your notification bar and you need to select file transfer. And only then you will be able to see your internal memory and SD card. I guess this is for security. And in order to revert back to stock ROM and receive OT updates, you can follow the instructions of my unbreak video. The link has been shared in the description again. So if you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, that's Geek Review. Stay tuned for more videos. This is Kevin signing off from Geek Review.